This is Bart Coppens, your favorite online entomologist and butterfly and moth breeder. And today I'm going to answer the ages old question, how to feed a butterfly? Now I've made several videos on my channel demonstrating this, but I still get this question so, so, so often. I finally want to answer it for once and for all in this video. Let's get started. This is what you are going to need, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to need a plate, one absorbent paper towel or tissue paper, a fork, a stick, a glass of water and, very important, some flower honey. Try getting real organic honey, not a synthetic Chinese honey that you can get in the store sometimes. They make it from like corn syrup, I don't know. Get actual honey that uh, bees have made. So, let's get started. First, we build the setup. The preparation is as follows. You take the tissue paper and make sure to put it here on the middle of the plate. Secondly, we pour some water on it. Thirdly, you take the honey and you generously just divide the honey. Make sure that it's like 50-50 water and honey. It's important that the honey gets diluted a little bit because butterflies don't like pure honey. It dehydrates them, it's too much sugar. It's the combination of water and sugar that sustains them. The water is important for hydration. Now I'm using the fork here to kind of squish the honey in the paper towel. There you go, so it absorbs it. There you go, this is a good start. Wow, so pretty. Second of all, you are going to need a butterfly. This is a how to feed a butterfly video, not how to feed your grandmother. Now, as you can see, the butterfly has an interesting mouth part. It's called the proboscis. Now let me show you, this is important, don't worry, I know how to handle these creatures. You can gently use the stick here to take the butterfly's tongue, can you see it? And then you unfurl it like this, can you see it? The proboscis is kind of like a, a tongue, well it's not really a tongue, they're modified mouth parts, but whatever, the metaphor works. And as you can see, you can gently use the stick to unfurl the tongue. Can you see that? And that's what you want. Let me show you. So now we are going to make a drink. I gently take the butterfly. I hold it above the substrate. Next I use the stick here and I grab its tongue. I slowly unfurl the tongue into the honey water. And if the tongue remains extended like this, it means it's drinking. Next, I very gently release the butterfly, don't do this too hard, and voila! And that's how you feed your beautiful pet butterfly. Let's make a close-up. Now some of you are saying, Bart, why is the paper towel necessary? Well, the simple reason is that butterflies, they can't just sit in a sticky random liquid, they need something to sit on. The sugary water is actually dangerous for them. It can stick their legs together, it can stick their wings together. If the butterflies are released just in a plate of honey water, they just kind of, they'll flutter around in the liquid and become all sticky and covered with honey. This can even cause them to die. The paper tissue here is actually really important because it gives the butterfly something to sit on and it minimizes its contact with the liquid. Now, some people are obviously going to ask me the question, why would you want to feed a butterfly in the first place? Well, there's many reasons. Maybe you find an exhausted butterfly in your garden that's sick and you want to rescue it. Or maybe, just like me, you are a breeder of butterflies and moths and sometimes you have to feed your pets in captivity. Or maybe you work in a butterfly garden. This channel promotes butterfly and moth conservation. 
I myself am a breeder of butterflies and moths, but also an amateur entomologist. I have affiliations with butterfly farms and museums around the world. Check out my channel to uh, see evidence of this. But right now this is just a very simple video. This butterfly is not alone, it has some friends. Now what's funny is if they're really hungry, you can see that their tongue starts extending. This one is actually smelling the honey water. Can you see its tongue? I don't have to do anything with the stick. I, if I place it in here, it will probably start drinking by itself. Can you see that? Well, let's release it slowly. Well, the first one is escaping. Let's put him back. As you can see, if the butterfly is really hungry, they will drink automatically without any help. But drinking from a plate is unnatural to them. And sometimes it confuses them. So, some species you need to help them unfurl the tongue and place it in the sugar water or the honey water. And the moment they taste it, that's when they recognize the food. That's when they're like, hey, I can eat this. Now this butterfly here on top seems to be losing its interest in feeding. Yeah. So what this means is that essentially its stomach is full. When the butterfly um, is finished eating, what you can see is behavior will change and it will essentially just fly away. That's normal. Never grab a butterfly by the wings. As you can see, I'm holding it here by its thorax. It's kind of like its body. Here where my fingers are touching it. This is where the insect has a strong exoskeleton and squeezing it here with my fingers does not harm it. But the wings, the wings are super fragile, so please avoid grabbing it by the wings. Just make sure to handle this body. The legs, you want to avoid grabbing the legs too. It's very easy to break the legs. Okay, don't touch them. So I'm just going to do the same trick with the stick, see that? I'm going to unfurl its tongue, which is actually kind of hard since I'm filming right now. So it's hard to see what I'm doing at the same time. While I'm operating the camera, or maybe it kind of see. It. Take the tongue, dip it, and hmm, as you can see, this butterfly. As soon as I place the tongue in here, its tongue seemed to roll up, but I think now it's drinking. If its tongue remains extended like this, it means it's tasting. And if I release it, whoop, no. So this one doesn't seem to be very hungry. You kind of have to read their behavior, but if they don't really care for it, it means it's probably not hungry. Now, this particular butterfly here seems to be very hungry. How long can they eat? Well, that depends on the species and it depends on how hungry they are. Uh, sometimes it takes like 10 seconds or one minute and they're full. But in other occasions I've had butterflies that can feed for like 10 minutes or more. If they're really starving, sometimes they can feed from like 5 to 10 minutes. It also depends on the species. I think some species can hold more nectar than others. If you gently pull its wings away, it doesn't seem to be feeding much anymore. Still doing something with its tongue here. This species in this video generally does not feed for very long, but I think this definitely helped. Oh look ladies and gentlemen, it's drinking some more. Now you can see that tongue in action. Oh that sounds wrong, I know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm childish. Well, what's funny about the butterfly's mouth part is people often describe it like a tongue or a hollow straw. But that's not true, actually. It's not hollow. Instead, it's kind of, it's solid. It's kind of like a sponge. The proboscis of a butterfly has tiny um, cavities in it. And these cavities, they fill themselves with liquid. It's actually the same that's going on in a sponge. If you look on, uh, under a microscope in a sponge, you'll see that sponges are filled with a lot of small cavities. And this promotes what's called the capillary effect. And that's basically that um, tiny cavities have the ability to suck up moisture. And it's thanks to the capillary effect that butterflies are able to suck up liquids like nectar passively. They don't have to exert force. 
Just like a sponge, it will automatically absorb. Although they do have muscles that allow them to apply pressure and a little bit of suction, but it's more, passive, more of a passive process than people imagine. Now with the first two butterflies, the first butterfly drank for like one minute and stopped being interested. Second one didn't seem very interested at all. So thankfully it's this third butterfly that makes the video uh, a nice example. This uh, butterfly is just so hungry. He keeps going at it. See that? That's tasty, huh? Oh, he's rolling up uh, the proboscis again. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. That was it. It was short but sweet. Hope to see you in my next upload. Bye bye!